Hi everybody, hello, hello, welcome. Today I'm, I want to go back to this journal that we did in September. It was the September Snacks journal. We didn't quite get it finished. So <clears throat> what I intend to do is sort of echo some of the things that we've done in the gingerbread journal, but not in, not using gingies. So I've gone through it and this is the first empty page that I've come to. And so I want to do one of those pockets like we did yesterday, but on the tag that goes in it, I want to do a cluster. So I thought we could start by doing some clusters and then make the pocket and the tag and whatever. And it'll go more quickly because we'll have done the clusters. But clusters is a thing that you hardly ever, if ever, see me make. Because um, usually I just build collages sit up there good lad on the page but I've looked at this drawer that is um, largely Tim Holtz some of it is really good stuff like these and these I think are all but some is um, just little smaller remnants and they are up for being made into clusters, I would say. Um, no, it's a bit big. We'll leave that out as well. Let's just come across. Um, I don't know what they're doing in that. I'm just looking for little bits like that. And if I haven't got enough little bits in this drawer, I have got other drawers. Some blue, a bit of red, um, that I keep because I cut it up for the photos. A load of little bits there, put them on the wrong pile. Um, we'll keep one of those out. They're quite big, but we'll keep them out anyway. Um, that bit and that bit so I'm just going through my drawer sorting out bits that perfect that we can use in clusters oh look at this I've hit the gold see I keep every little bit of Timmy that I cut off it's all valuable stuff to me. So once I get these out, I'm sure that we've got enough to make clusters with. So let's put all this up back, put the drawer away. We'll pick that up. Right, okay. So let's see what we've got. So you can either select a large piece, sort of half of that size, and build onto it, but that's kind of your regular collage. That's kind of what I do generally. So I've got this piece, I've got a nice greeny piece here, or that on the back. Yeah, I think I prefer, oh, but it's been torn when it's, yeah. That's why I've cut it off. When it's come out the pad, it's torn. So we'll go with the green one. I'll just tear that off about there. So I don't really want big clusters. Um, I think I can cut that in half. It's been folded scored in half for some reason but I don't I don't know what oh my goodness if I could only cut straight we'd be laughing there we go and that could go there Really, that's a cluster. I'm going to add a little bit of lace. Just a tiny little bit. You don't need much at all. And cut 
that off there. That'll do for there. Now I'm not going to cut off that other bit until I see what I'm going to use as a sort of focal point. Phew, just want to retrieve my um, box of ephemera. It's not easy in here. <laughs> Everything's in everybody's way. Um, but I've looked at the orange box because these are the papers that I want to, this is what I want to make the um, cluster to go on and that's what I want to make the pocket out of. So, um, so I'll probably want something orangey. <clears throat> I quite like that bit across there. Scissors. So let's just cut that bit out. I'm not saying definitively this is going to be it, but you never know, it might be. So I could just put that across there. Still looks like it needs something, doesn't it? Yeah, I don't know, have I got any flowers in here? Let's have a look. Have a look, see what's in here. Oh, I've got a stump. Yeah, I think the stamp will do it. Not very well cut out, Timmy. So there, yeah, I think that's I think that's fine. I think that is what I would call a cluster. So I'm just going to go and I think I'll cut that lace down a little bit. It's just it's just a little bit offensive. okay so I'm going to ink around that and then we'll stick them together right so here we are I've inked around everything we just need to glue it now so I've just had my glue thing filled up so it's probably very lively so we'll just have to bear with that Just overlap that a little bit like that and then we've got this one so I'll just put some glue down there yeah you can see my glue's a bit lively that's okay put that there and then we want Ah, now, it's at this stage you can decide whether to stitch or not. My lace is going to go there. And I think I'd quite like to stitch it. So let's just put a little bit of um, collal there. Just to catch that lace. I was going to have a day today of making all clusters but seem to be a bit shaky so I think I might put that off for another day just to make sure that we've got the cluster that we want made for today. Um, right so what I'm going to do is stitch it and I'm probably just going to stitch down that line this line here maybe with a zigzag so you can see it so I'll be right back. Right so just put a zigzag down there in black it just stands out quite nicely and this is just long enough. I want it to peep out of this side and to not be flush with that. Maybe a little bit further up actually. 
yeah that's fine so let's glue that in place I'll use colour because it's getting stuck onto fabric just the stamp uh, which I'll also stick on with Kalal simply because it's here it doesn't really need So there's a cluster and you can add to it you can add all sorts of things to it I found these um, the Elizabeth craft design <coughs> reinforcements <coughs> and they happen to be in brown which is the color that I'm looking for so I was wondering about putting one there um, and I think I will let's pop that center bit out which is now stuck to me because of course it would. <laughs> Why wouldn't it? Ah, tweezers, anybody? No, there's some. There's some there. So I'm going to put that in that corner there. Like that. And then, oh, my thing is falling over. I'll crop it out. Punch the hole out. Now I can see where it's going. And I'll, I'm going to set that with a eyelet. <coughs> I think I'll use silver. Why not? I think silver might be a relatively good choice for that. Oh, today is not a day to make a video, is it really? <laughs> Shaky shake. You can't really see too much of that eyelet now, but never mind. We know it's in there. Of the reinforcer, I mean. There we go. So, I don't know if I'm going to put anything in that, or I'm not going to put anything in that. I don't know yet. Um, but I am going to put making clusters onto the back burner for the rest of today um I'm, I'm just too shaky guys sorry but i will try and get the rest of this um let's put them in there the rest of this page made up so where's our journal right behind all of this stuff oh my goodness me Come on. It's getting quite heavy now, this journal. Yeah, I think it'll be all right. I probably want to stencil on this page because I'm going to have the pocket at the bottom and the tag, but it's going to look a bit naked. So let me just get a stencil. Right, so I've got this one. It doesn't reach all the way over, but I don't want to do it solid anyway. And I've got my frayed burlap ink out and a lovely new brush that Jani has sent me along with some other really gorgeous goodies. Thank you, Jani. So it's a new brush, so it needs a fair bit of ink on it. And I'm just going to catch various bits. I mean, that's gorgeous. My goodness, that is gorgeous. We'll catch the other side down here. That's looking really nice, isn't it? 
very nice. So then I want something kind of in the middle-ish. You won't see it very much, but we know it's there. Yeah, that's fine. Then the pocket will be there and you won't... Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I think frayed burlap is the right colour to disappear into the background. Okay, so let's get cracking with this. So it's the same as we made for the little gingy. Just fold it over and you bring this back. So let's fold that. It's a piece of 12 by 12. It's a piece of 12 by 12 strip. I don't think I need it folded that far. And just fold it. I don't know what's that, two inches? It's an arbitrary measurement. Two and a half. And then fold it back, making sure it fits your page. So there is good, I think. Just make sure it's squared up straight, everything's good. Bone folder. Burnish those in. Like that. So this one now is too long. Um, we need to trim it about. Well, it is only paper this, uh, if you can hear. So I might trim it a little long and then fold it in. So I'll trim it about there and then fold it in on itself. Where's my mark? There's my mark. Keep that. It's good for um, what we're doing. What are we doing? Clusters. And just fold that in a little way. Half an inch or so. Right, so that's going to come over there. It's going to be a pocket here. Um, we're not doing gingies today, so it's not going to be a gingerbread. A boy sticking out. Or girl, I can't remember now. So there we are, but the same rules apply. I'm going to stitch down there and stitch around the, the entire top and then come back and uh, see what we need to do then. So I'll see you in a sec. So there we are, that's that. And I've done exactly the same thing as I did with the blooming um, gingy. I've forgotten to ink around it. So let's ink around that now while I remember. So this is just one sided paper. Um, you don't need double sided because nobody will ever see in the middle. Yeah, it looks better when it's inked. I use black thread, but um, you know, you could use a coordinating thread or you could, a lot of people use cream thread. I like, um, I like black when I'm doing grungy stuff. Not that this is particularly grungy. Okay, so there's our pocket. Ink drowned, stitched around, apart from the bottom. I'm not exactly sure that's square. So now I can decide, do I want to stitch around all three sides or just the bottom? Personally, I think it would look better to stitch around all three sides. So that's what I'm going to do. But before I go, I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on here just to hold that top bit down. There we go. And I can put a clip on that. Excuse me. Reaching over you put a clip on that whilst I'm sewing the rest and that can be drying so I'm just going to go and sew around the rest and I'll be straight back okay so that's stitched around and hopefully that's dry yeah I think so so we've got our pocket so I want to make a tag to go in here this time last time we had a little gingy sticking out of it but today I want to make a, a little tag 
to go in there. So what's the measurements? What are we dealing with here? Let's just slide that in there. See what we've got. Uh, three and three quarters, I would say. I don't want it that big. Three and three quarters by two and a half. Let's do that. Three and three quarters. I'm just going to try it with craft first. See what that looks like. Put it off that way at three and three quarters. And by two and a half. done maybe with being a bit longer but it doesn't matter I'll put I'll put a topper on it it'll be fine um, where's my card to cut off the corners that's the one there I think Lovely. Right, so yesterday and my Amazon order came and in amongst it was the stamps. The Globeland stamps, oh I think you can see it there despite the glare, and they're kind of distressed looking. So I, I just wanted to give them a go really. So I'll try, I'll use this bit of what really is scrap card. Just see what happens. I don't think, actually think that's big enough so I'll use the bigger bit. I have never used them before. Like I say, they only came yesterday. They are called Vintage something. Vintage TE photo album. Whatever that means. Goodness me, come out. There we go. Right, lovely. Let's try that one. That one looks really interesting. And I'm wondering whether to stamp it with vintage photo. Just see what it looks like. Um, stamp block. Must have one somewhere. Yes, I have Mr. Gingy himself. Let's try it with vintage photo, see what happens. Because unless we try, we won't know, will we? the edges right on the edge and we'll see what we think. Oh, oh, I say, I like that. Oh, I like that a lot. Yes, that is a hit. That really is, I love it. Looks nice and distressed. Should we try the rest of them? See what happens. See what we get. I'm excited now. <laughs> um, well, this one looks fairly obvious what you're going to get with that, but we'll try it anyway. Let's take it back off here. It's driving me nuts. So I'm going to carry on with the vintage photo because I really like that effect. Let's 
so that's a top corner one but we'll put it here yeah I like that as well it doesn't look quite as distressed does it it's a nice mixed media pattern but it doesn't look quite as distressed as this this one here let's try this one Oh, I didn't intend for this to turn into a playtime, but looks as if that's what it is. Let's put this along the bottom. These are better than I ever imagined they would be. Yeah, just got to be careful about the line. The line at the bottom doesn't have anything on it, so you need to stamp off your page a little bit. But that's fabulous. Should be on commission from Globe Land, shouldn't I? I just think they're stamps for the price. I mean, the price, it's nothing. I think this was four pounds something, which really isn't for nothing. <clears throat> These texture stamps are just, they just work. They really work. Uh, let's see what this one does. I'm not going to do all of them because it would take forever. Just this one and that checky one, which I really like the look of. Yeah, that's a lovely one as well. Oh, this was good money well, well spent. So just this checky one and then I'll leave it. They're a bit difficult to get off on the first go, but they'd look fabulous in red or something, but I'll do it in vintage photo. And then we've got a fair comparison. I never normally stamp in distress paint uh, inks as you know. Because I think you don't get such a good stamp. But bearing that in mind, we've had some blinking good stamps with this one, haven't we? Oh, I love that one. That one's great. Right, so there we are. Yes, money well spent. So how does that help us with our, with what we're doing today? <laughs> or does it help us at all? Who knows? Well, I really like that. Mm, I do. So here's our, this is our tag. So yeah, I can have that bottom corner done, done in this. Let's ink around it first. going to do it in yeah I'm going to do it in vintage photo <laughs> help avoid something on my stamp platform wouldn't it so I'm going to use that corner one the one we tried first except I'm going to stamp just off the page because it seems there's nothing on the very edge <coughs> excuse me just off the tag like that give it a good press down I 
Oh, that's so nice. Look at it. It's just gorgeous, actually. Truth be told, it's gorgeous. So I don't know what else to put anywhere else. Because if I put that the other way, it'll look like it's the other way. I don't know, what's this big one? What's this one got to say for itself? I don't know if there's a right and a wrong way, but I'll stamp it onto the, the, the paper we've been using and see what it looks like first before I commit to our tag. So it look quite nice, this. Yeah, it's missed a whole section in the middle. Not that that's the be-all and end-all, but I would prefer that it didn't. Well, it's properly inked up, so... to stamp that bit there. Yeah, I can see the bit it's missing. I don't know why. why global and stamps are cheap because <laughs> parts of them don't stamp that's a real shame I've got the ink on there it's just not doing it yeah I think I think that's the way forward do it off off the block so you can actually push little bits in at a time so it's obviously got a bit of a deficit on it. So I can lift that up and press that down. Yeah. So shall I risk it for a biscuit on there? Yeah, why not? Got them to use. Let's use them. So this might not have as good a coverage, as good an inky coverage, because I'm just pressing it on with my fingers. So. I'm not saying it's going to be great. nice yeah so it was a bit of a fadaddle getting that to work but it, it kind of does you just gotta take matters into your own hand um i'm so tempted to use that crisscrossy one but i didn't try this one did i oh i might as well have tried them all hadn't i really because that's how it's ending up <laughs> let's see what this one's like Let's put it down here, or oh, probably the other way, maybe that way. Oh, I meant to stump this out of practice first. <laughs> I've gone straight onto my tag. Oh, it's nice though. That's nice. See if I've got any ink left on it that I can bring across. No. I'll just 
re-inking that top bit so as I've got these spotties just there. Doesn't that look nice? Or a fab tab. Tug. Shall I carry on with this one, do you think, around there? I think maybe. I think maybe. Yeah, I think that's looking very, very nice. <coughs> I really like that, actually. I really, really, really like it. Excellent. So, for once we got that tamed, we've been all right. Yeah, I'm, pl I'm really pleased with that little set of stamps. And I love that big checky one, it's gorgeous. But the situation did not arise. For us to use that but yeah lovely right so now i want to make a hole in it i don't need really decorate that any further it's just beautiful i think um so she looking around no i don't want to it's fine so where's halfway where's my ruler So it's an inch and a half, so three quarters then. Just about there. And I'll use a silver a silver one for this. So as we can be all matchy matchy. Oh, I'm pleased with that tag. It's lovely. Look at all the glue on my hand. I think I've been bathing in it. There we go. And it needs some string or cord or something on the top, but... Um, yeah, that, that looks fine to me. I like that. So, we can stick that in the book. Oh, how nice is that? I love it. Sorry to keep going on about it, but I do. <laughs> um, let's get this stuck down. So the whole of the back sticks down. Because the pocket is the inside bit that we made. So that's good gives it more of a chance to stick because this is this page is under a bit of pressure because the signature is quite fat in fact it's very fat I mean that's just one signature there that's ridiculous But this won't be the fattest page. Won't be the thinnest page either, but it won't be the fattest. So give that a good press down. Oh, glue situation occurring. Okay, I'm going to clip that just to just to help it on its way. <coughs> Excuse 
suits me. <coughs> I'm not feeling great today in all honesty. I wouldn't recommend having your flu jabs and your, your COVID jab a day apart. I think it's not wise. But those were the appointments that they gave me, so I just did what I was supposed to do. Right, so now we need to get our tag in the back of here. <coughs> so let's see. I think we did measure it before, but I forget what it was. Um, so about three and three quarters, I would say, three and three quarters by six and a half, three and three quarters by six and a half. So I've got a sort of mark there where six and a half is. I'll just go a little bit past it, I think. So it might be six and three quarters. And then I'll make this three and three quarters. They can go in the remnants pile. So let's cut the corners. Put our thing in. I'm just going to cut the corners with the same um, small one that I did for the tag in the pocket and then they'll match. I don't like it when tags and stuff don't match. I don't know why, it just irritates me. It's one of my pet hates. There we go. And let's ink around that. Just here. And a, can you journal on that? Possibly. This um, journal is more of a, I would describe it as a workshop journal. It's full of ideas, really, and examples, rather than a posh journal. You know, one of the ones that I make that either on commission or, you know, for sale. This, um, although it has been purchased, it is more of a workshop journal. Right, so that's that. Here's our cluster. How is it going to look? Well, in all honesty, it looks a little bit small. I thought that might happen, and it's happened. So um, let's put the hole in the top. And I might even go over there and get some braid or something for it. So that's two and three quarters, so that's, what's that? Two and six eighths, so one and three eighths is half of that, which is there. So let's just do that and then we'll get a fairer idea of what we need. Silver again. There we go. So that's the size of the problem, which isn't a problem. We don't have a problem, um, but that really is a little bit too small. Now, whether I put the whole cluster onto something, I don't know. I could put it onto lace. Where's my lace? Here, I've got a ginormous piece of lace here. I could put that onto there and put it, you know, cut it off. 
put it all on like that. No, I might put some lace down the side, but I'm not. I'm not loving that entire thing being on lace. Let's just skidoo the lad over there. See what I've got in the world of remnants. That could go onto there. I've got any sort of sizable pieces. Oh, some gorgeous remnants here. Totally gorgeous. With these two pieces. I like that. Actually, I really do. Oh, I've got this one. Which I could put on there and put some lace down there. No, I've been spoiled now. I've seen this one and I love it. I don't even know if it's Timmy. I'm presuming it is. Yeah, that, that's got to be the one. I just love it. So let's tear across the bottom. Somewhat straighter than that. And I'm just going to go there and tear it about there. I've had this remnant for ages and I've kept almost using it and then not because I love it so much yeah that's great I think that's I think that's fine I like that let's just cut a bit of lace out and see what we think so I need to cut it to what are you doing what exactly are you doing I need to cut it to about there That's kind of desk dweller, that bit of lace. It just lives on my desk, waiting for such an occasion. Well, come in. Your time is due. There we are. And that can go on there. And then we have a lovely, lovely, lovely um, cluster. So in order to make it a cluster, it's got to be a separate thing that you then put on to here. So let's adhere by those rules and stick this on. Looks like I'm not going to be putting anything through that hole. Which is fine. Lovely. And then I just want some coral on the back of here to stick my lace down. Right in the wrong side, I think that's the right side there. a separate thing definitely and it's going there and I really rather like it so some people make up 
dozens, literally dozens of clusters. And then they just go to the cluster drawer and they get one out. And I love the idea of doing that, but I never really have the time, if I'm honest. So I tend to always make clusters on the hoof. And to be honest, they generally end up being collages. I generally just build a collage. So for me, it's quite nice to be able to build a cluster. So it's something I don't normally do. There we go. Very nice. I like it. So I just need to go and get some that doesn't look like it's in very tight. Let's give that another another go. I don't think it's a loose, it just doesn't look tight. Let's try it from a different angle. I'm definitely in there, it's certainly not coming out. I'll just go and uh, reach some twine. Well, I got these out to put the twine on and what dawned on me was this looks a bit bare, looks a bit naked. So let's put the twine on because I've got it out. And so I don't need masses. So I'm just going to pop it through and back on itself. Let's try this one first, see if I can get it. Yes, look at that. Easily Mac Peasley. Lovely. And then the top one. Yeah, seeing as I've got those textures uh, stamps, might as well use them. Would have been much easier before I stuck the cluster on, but it just did not occur to me. And I'll go around these after I've finished videoing and just seal the ends with a little bit of glue. Stop them fraying. wasn't good. I don't know how you can go wrong doing that, but I went wrong doing that. Right, there we are. And also when I'm doing the glue, I'll just put a little drop in there just to save it coming undone. So that's our twine in. It looks so much better now. And I'm just going to get where did I put those stamps? Here they are. <coughs> Excuse me. And well, I can't I can't not use this one. It's fabulous. It's got to be used. So let's put it back on the block. Let's see what it looks like on this colour card. It might not look great. We'll see. Oh, I think I've got a gap around it. Oh no. Oh wow. That's much, much more distinct than it is on there. Blame me, it's a bit too distinct. Okay, well, that's what colour. Oh, I 
did it the wrong side up. What an absolute numpty. Stuck the wrong side. Oh. <laughs> That's why I've got a solid. Oh, I can't believe I did that. Okay, well, can I get that off? Yes. Right. I've saved the cluster. That's a real shame. A real, real shame. Um, maybe I should make it out of craft. I think I had a bit. Yeah, I've got a bit here. Uh, what did I say? Just over six and a half and three and three quarters. So let's do that. Oh, I can't believe I did that. I stuck the wrong side down. That's what you get when you're not very well. It's, it's amazing how much you do actually need to concentrate when you're making journals. I say that often to Mr. F, you know, it's just not, it looks easy, but it kind of isn't really. Right, so have I got the right side up? Yes. Let's try this. Can't believe that. Can't believe I did that. <laughs> what an idiot. But I'm going to leave it in. You can all have a laugh. Oh, you see, that's just, that's just so much better. That's lovely. Lovely. Right. So, what else do we have? What's that one? Let's try that one. Doesn't really want to work that way. Let's stamp it onto here, see what we get. It's quite solid, isn't it? It's a bit too solid. For what I'm looking for. It's nice, but not, not just right for this project. Uh, so I think, I think maybe this one. Oh my goodness, that's gorgeous. So I'm going to build that corner up. So I'm just going to put just that bit in there. Just build a corner up like that. Easy as. Beautiful. Make it, you know, keep stamping over it so you get a different look. Oh, this is so nice. I need to cut my corners out before I... Oh, look at that. How gorgeous. Very gorgeous. That's how gorgeous. Did I put my... should be. <laughs> That's why I didn't see it. There we go. Right, so now I can carry on stamping. I think I'll just carry on with this one actually. 
I'm enjoying it. and put it on the other way. I haven't even inked this yet. go how nice is that very nice oh I'm pleased pleased I've got those stamps I mean Mr F's quite right I do have an absolute stamping stamp addiction I can't see a set of stamps that I haven't got and not get it <laughs> unheard of right so let's ink around here Two and three quarters, what did I say that was? One and three eighths. So it's about there. About there, let's get another silver. See, things do go wrong. Things go wrong for everybody. People tell you nothing ever goes wrong for them. I can suggest that they may not be telling you the truth. Things particularly go wrong when you're videoing <laughs> because you're thinking of other things. You're thinking, oh, I should be saying something or, oh, I've been quiet for a while or whatever. Um, and you're not giving your project 100%. That's when things are likely to go wrong. Lovely. Right. Let's see what this looks like on there. Ooh, it looks nice. Looks nice. I, I like that. That looks really good. So I'm going to stick it down again. <coughs> it's going to need quite a bit of glue this time because it's already been glued. And that's now dried and set. So so about there I would say. struggling and everything else I, I like the finished product so that's good let's put a little bit of twine on the top there and then we can call that done I think I'm, I'm just debating with myself oh no don't debate with yourself Miss P 
whether or not to stamp some words out or numbers or something along there. I think it might look quite nice. Mm. I think it might. Let's have a look and see what I've got to hand. I've got this one. Honestly, I'm terrible with stamps. Really am. I've got to stop buying them. But I love them. I do, actually. I love stamps. Um, what am I going to put there? I quite like that one that says Isles. That one. What about that there? Yeah, and uh, I think I'll, shall I do it in? Um, vintage photo? Let's give it a try. It, it may not show very well. No, it shows up fine. That shows up as much as I wanted to show up, so that's great. Um, and possibly just something for the top. It's a nice number there. That will do nicely. calling that done I really like it I could have stitched around it I could have done a million things but I haven't and I like what we've got so there you go let's make a cluster <laughs> simple as that except it took what did it take an hour and seven minutes that's ridiculous okay so I'm off I'm out of here I'm gonna have a little lie down a little rest and uh, I'll see you all really soon. Thanks for joining me. Bye.